We are going to style our form validation errors in this video. But before we do that, I want us to add the padding on the admin form. That is the padding to the left and the right. Because we see that the space here is a little bit too narrow. And if you open our CSS file and you search for, let's see, admin form. Uh, you will notice that we gave it a padding of 20 pixels all round. So we expect this padding, these paddings to be 20 pixels. But if you inspect element, you will notice that our form is having, our form is having a padding of uh, 10 pixels instead. And if you go to the CSS for the form, you see it here, it has been stri stricken through, which means that it is being overridden by some other style somewhere. And the style that overrides it is the style that we have on our medium box, that is the empty box. If you remove this one, our admin form padding now will take effect and the padding will increase. Now the reason that the MD box padding is overriding the admin form padding is because inside our CSS, we have assigned the admin form class first and then the MD box class comes last. And so the styles for empty box are, are overriding the styles for admin form. So just to show you what I mean, uh, the admin form comes first. So whatever styles we add, we apply to admin form eventually get overridden by medium box. So in our CSS, uh, in order to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the padding to be handled by the medium box. So I'll remove the padding on the admin form. Then I scroll down to where I define the styles for the medium box. And then I will give it a padding of 20 pixels left and right instead of 10 pixels. Now the reason we were giving uh, most of these boxes a padding of 10 pixels was so that these boxes will look good on mobile because 20 pixels certainly looks like too much space on mobile. All right, so now, but, but 10 pixels was being too small for the desktop. So what I want us to do is we give it a padding left and right of 20 pixels on desktop or bigger screens. And then on smaller screens, we'll give them the padding of 10 pixels instead. Okay, so I want this to apply to all the boxes. So I'm also going to set each pa the padding for each box to 20 pixels left and right. Now we have applied these styles to the medium box and the large box. And we have also modified the padding for the small box. So let us also add a media, uh, the styles, the corresponding media query styles for small box. And we're just going to make sure it looks the same. Uh, 10 pixels left and right. Okay, so let us refresh. And we see the space now on desktop. And if we check the mobile display, we'll also see now that we have the 10 pixels uh, padding on mobile, which is fine. Now, one thing I want to fix is here we are seeing the uh, the light blue color on the background and then our form is just covering the entire screen from left to right. So this makes it look like our form is being cut off at these corners, at these uh, left and right corners. So I don't know about you, but this makes me feel a bit uncomfortable that I, may, I might be missing out on some part of the form. So to fix this, I'm going to, uh, instead of giving it a width of 100%, I'm going to give it a width of 96% so that the remaining 4% can give us some space or at least indicate to us that the form is contained within the page. Okay. And that is all the preliminary work I wanted us to do before working on uh, the validation errors. So let us go on to that right now. I am going to scroll to the top where I define the styles for flash messages. Okay, so here they are. Now, 
uh, flash messages um, are form validation errors are a bit like flash messages because they did oops I don't know why this thing is so annoying it always gets in the way every time okay um so uh, flash messages uh, validation messages on our forms are a bit like flash messages so we are going to define them just under our styles for flash messages so we let us look at the HTML for our form error messages so it's basically an unordered list with a class of form errors so we'll grab that and first of all let us give it a red border and see uh, the outlines of that element okay now we want to give it some padding top and bottom or first of all um, the colors are going to be basically the same as on the error flash messages so I'm just going to bring those down refresh and these are the colors we want and I kind of think that the, the text should have a, a more contrasting color so I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit okay something like this all right okay and I believe you can also make it the same for the flash message okay having done that uh, we can now uh, design the the sizes on the paddings and so on now I want us to give it a padding top and bottom of 16 pixels and then we round the borders a little bit so padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and I think by default the unordered list has a padding left and right of uh, or a padding left of 32 pixels so let us maintain that because we want this space to remain so we refresh and this looks good now let us round the corners and we do that using border radius let's give it a border radius of 3 refresh and I think this is what we want okay so see you in the next video